and um, we got these great musicians coming up. Nako and the Medicine for the People. And, uh, I just want to thank them. They came all the way out from Hawaii and other places for this Mescalero Apache. He's an indigenous brother, but I'm um, just really, really happy and I, that he come all the way up here. Don't collapse, nothing but the earth will last And I'll be singing sweetly into the darkness And the darkness, great spirit on my tail Be still, be still, the time will come And everyone will sing all of this sacred While I'm waiting, great spirit, my fist is up Bring the power to the people, your reflection of us Some your people can't hear it, the cries of the earth Some your people can't feel it, the way that it hurts It hurts, great spirit Winona, we're sitting up here at uh, what, what, Round Lake. Lake. We're on Round Lake, the heart of White Earth here. On the heart of White Earth, yeah. and, and you've been spending a day or two here trying to reorganize the foundation Honor the Earth. Can you tell us a little bit about what you envision Honor the Earth uh, doing in the future? Because it already has a pretty interesting past set of accomplishments. Yeah. Where, are you, where are you going to take this? Okay, Honor the Earth emerged about 20 years ago. That's about 20 years next year. Um, and a good portion of my life <laughs> has been spent. And what we found is that, you know, we work on the front lines of these native environmental struggles. You're out there fighting uranium mining or big dam projects, and no one even notices you. You know, you're in, the national media doesn't care because your Indian's out there protesting one more time. Well, it turns out these issues are really American issues. You know, you shouldn't have mega dams in the north because it destroys ecosystems, and you shouldn't mine uranium because you get radiation contamination. What we found a long time ago is, is that when you brought music, to our communities, our people's hearts were lifted. And we were happy because we felt like the, the beauty of that music and we liked that musicians came and they cared about what was happening to us. And we also found that when he brought musicians, the press came and it helped us draw attention to the issue because the press was like, why those guys go see those Indians? Well, they didn't say it like that, but that's what they were saying. And that's so, what they were thinking. That's what they're thinking, like, what's going on with those Indians out there? Why do they go do that? And so, you know, in that process, it, it became uh, this, this uh, you know, collaboration between Honor the Earth and our movement and uh, musicians, you know. And so the founders of Honor the Earth are actually the Indigo Girls and myself. Uh, we founded Honor the Earth in 1993. We've done about 100 shows together, which is why my hearing is a little impaired, I realized recently. Um, and in that, we traveled across Indian country and from Chiapas to Cordova, up in Alaska where we asked the question of uh, why it is that you get to poison an ecosystem and get away, Mr. Exxon. Um, or, you know, been up to um, uh, Mohawk territory where there's PCBs in the, in the river, you know, long time contamination from aluminum and uh, Ford, you know, motor company. So these kinds of questions is what we ask. We, we believe that people have a right to not be poisoned. Uh, people have a right to live in dignity. And um, so after 20 years, uh, we are kind of reassessing, reaffirming Oh, we gathered here at my house on, uh, on the reservation, which is pretty much where we gathered the first time around. 20 years later, we come back together and we say, you know, what do you think? Got another, you know, what's our plan now? And we decided that we had a good plan to start with uh, that reaffirmed our relationship to each other and that uh, the idea of bringing music and art and the creative power of that beauty uh, with these frontline struggles and this vision for the future, which is a vision that is beautiful. You know, of peace, of good local food, of renewable energy, of not corporate control world. That was good. And that it deserved uh, our attention. And so um, we recommitted ourselves to this work. And uh, we're really pleased, uh, you know, to have uh, new people join us um, from different Native communities and from uh, Medicine for the People and uh, from Ulali. And uh, we're hoping to keep, keep doing this and do some awesome shows in the next couple of years and, uh, and promote these issues. Oh, I'm going to go to Hope in a minute, but the, the one question I had, Winona, is is that I once uh, read that a reflection of any society um, is where it's at from a political point of view or uh, maybe even a survival point of view had to do with a society's ability to have art and music that if all the resources were going into defense or military, there was no money for art and music in that society. Is that have something to do with the basis of where perhaps you're taking this organization? We believe that the creative spirit of humans 
is a beautiful thing and that that creative spirit is part of the solution um, of where we're going is our and to nurture that you know and to encourage that and to showcase that in communities that face despair um, is uh, so important you know I had a lot of privilege in my life an immense amount but one of the great privileges is traveling with musicians into communities that may have never heard anything like that or seen anybody like that come to them and they and and to see the look on the faces of kids and elders and to see them enjoying themselves and kind of not only being like uh, less sad you know for a bit but also having that that spirit you know uh, nurture them so that they are not only fortified but they they feel better about the world and and, and where we're going and so uh, you know to me it's really important that uh, we're, we're you know we do some challenging work I'm privileged to do what I do you know but at the same time uh, it's awesome that we we do this hard work. We fight these like evil corporations and evil mining and you know genetic engineering issues. At the same time, I get to this opportunity to uh, to live a good life and also uh, listen to beautiful music and, and see beautiful art and it and it's reflecting the beauty of our communities. Medicine for the people. Hope, tell us a little bit. I was reviewing a video this morning from Madeline Island with uh, NACO and Medicine for the People from last year. And I noted that there was uh, someone playing the uh, percussion drum there, and I says, all of a sudden there was a moment of a startup, and then you got into it. What is it that, uh, you know, Medicine for the People, tell me a little bit about what goes into that expression and why doing a coalition or networking or forming a partnership with... Uh, Indigenous people like honor the earth is important. Well, <clears throat> medicine is different for all of us, but certainly medicine is our connection to the earth. And when we honor the earth and take care of her, that's when we are also cultivating our own sense of power and strength and spirit. And certainly indigenous people were here first in the United States, and we have had the opportunity to live here on this beautiful land. And uh, in many ways, you could still say that the indigenous people are the most connected to the earth and taking care of it. Winona LaDuc and the organization Honor the Earth has done a fantastic job of standing up over and over again, protecting the earth in a lot of different ways over the last 20 years, that we are super excited about standing with them and helping strengthen these um, these perspectives and these opportunities should both raise awareness as well as help change some of the uh, modern momentum about destruction on the earth. And Honor the Earth has done an incredible job of uh, standing with other native reservations and on Indian land and Indian country all across the United States. Um, and this is an opportunity for us as a musical collaboration to really stand up for what we believe in and, um, and become stronger together. Medicine for the People certainly is a, it's a voice and um, our voice is always changing and adapting with what we see around us and what we're learning around us. For myself, when I play drums, I'm definitely drawing my own strength on uh, or from my ancestors as well as trying to call out to the future generations of what I believe is true and what needs to be heard. And when I can use my voice through the drum and also stand for the, this earth and protecting it and preventing pollution and protecting the, um, the lack, well, preventing the lack of integrity that's been happening in the modern world with all of these businesses and the consumption and the greed that's been going on, then I feel like I'm fulfilling my role as a musician and as an artist in the society of doing something positive and standing up for positive social change and, um, and inspiring as best I can um, each one of us in our greater community to recognize that we can be powerful and particularly when we work together and, um, and really go within and find that, that spirit within each one of us that knows it's the right thing to do. 
Don't you kind of like just like music as well? And I love to play music, and I love to collaborate with really cool people like Winona LaDuke and the Indigo Girls and Honor the Earth. It's a fantastic organization that's doing some really dynamic projects. They're fearless, and, um, and they're moving forward with a lot of integrity. And um, that's what I always hope to do as an artist and as a human on this earth, is continue to help make this place better for the next generation. And I believe Medicine for the People's contribution and collaboration with Honor the Earth will definitely help make that happen. That sounds great. I had one last question, or I wanted one last comment from Winona here before we go for the morning, because it's a beautiful morning, but we've got a lot of business, all of us. Would it surprise you if tomorrow Romney Ryan announced that they're going to save the taxpayers a half a billion dollars by cutting a billion dollars out of defense and allocating a half billion dollars to artists and musicians. I would be very surprised. You know, I was looking at the budget out there and a trillion dollar deficit, and I'm thinking at least 70% of that has got to be the military. You know, and uh, there's a lot of like, oh, you know, things are going down the tubes. Well, they're going down the tubes because uh, we spend more time fighting than healing. And, uh, you know, if you, if you want to make peace, put in uh, infrastructure and sewage systems in, in countries. Don't bomb them. Make music, and not make music. war. Yeah, make music. Live well. Treat people well. Thanks for joining with us both. Thank you. We can be the change. Thanks, Hope. <laughs> Miigwech. Miigwech. Breaking down the walls of the past, the minimalist, the minimalist, the last in my past. You better be just a man without you treating the land. You better be by my side.